Hey guys, this is Jericho. Welcome to my channel. So, today's video is going to be a married life expectations versus reality. I wanted to do a type of video where I would actually act out everything, but then I realized that that would take a lot of work to do. So we're just going to talk about it because I have been married coming up on seven years in April and it is not easy. And so many people want to get married, but I really think that what it is is people like the idea of being married, but then when they get married, they're not ready to make the sacrifices. They're not ready to make compromises. They're not willing to yeah, they're just not willing to do any of that stuff. So if you're not ready to do any of that stuff, please do not get married. Stay single as long as you can and, you know, call it a day. But if you are ready to get married, just know that marriage can be a beautiful thing, especially if both of you are ready, both of you are willing to make sacrifices and compromise, but both of you have financial goals that you set together and things like that. But um, also, being married is not all sunshine and roses and cupcakes and unicorns and rainbows and stars and glitter um you know it's crazy because yeah anyway a lot of these things that i say in this video is gonna be true but it's also to be funny so i hope no one takes this video personal or anything like that but if you recognize any of these things then you should definitely comment below because i'm sure as women we will all go through this with our men and it's just i guess this is just reality unless your man grew up as a maid or something then you would be lucky all the uh, all of us Everybody else, we have problems that we're going to have to deal with, and it's just what it is. So, basically, number one, you get married, and, you know, your husband helps you clean up around the house. Maybe some of your husbands do. You know, maybe you, you don't have to do laundry or dishes or sweep or mop or vacuum or do any other, other little tidying things. You know, you meet your man, and he's just going to be... He's going to help you clean. You don't have to worry about it, and you can, you know, you just basically have a partner to help you clean. Men just don't think about it. I mean, I used to get mad at my husband for not cleaning up, and I still get mad at him for not cleaning up. But at the end of the day, it's really crazy how men's brains are different from women's brains. But they literally don't think about it. Like, they could walk past this trash all day long. Literally. They could walk past it all day long and not see it. Us women, though, we can look at that trash, walk by it one second, and be like, all right, this trash right here is bothering me. It's in the way. For one, I smell it. Number two, I see it. It's in, it's bothering the whole feng shui of this room. It's not, it doesn't go with anything. It needs to go. Like, it just needs to get out of here. But men, if you don't tell them to take it out, most of the time they won't take it out. Unless it's in their way. When it becomes a problem for them, then that's when they see it. But if it's just a problem for you, I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to deal with it. Don't expect them to take it right out when you say take it out, because they're not. They're going to do it when they want to do it. And we have to learn as women that that's fine. You know, as long as they do it. You know, you ask them about it and they don't take the trash out right that second, don't get mad. But if they take it out a few hours later, you know, be happy. You know, you go to bed at night and you guys cuddle all night and it's just a, you know, a fairy tale love story like in the movies and you're in his arms and he's just holding you and kissing you and all that other kind of great stuff. You know, you may start off cuddling or you may not cuddle at all. Me and my husband, I love, love, love to lay on his chest at night. It is the optimal sleeping environment for me. Chest is amazing. Ugh. I swear when I lay on his chest is when I slob the most. You don't cuddle all night, you don't get hot, you don't get uncomfortable, he's gonna wake up and his arm's gonna be purple because you don't cut off his entire circulation to his arm. But that's just the reality. There is no cuddling all night. You're gonna get uncomfortable, you're gonna get hot, his arm is gonna go dead. It just happens. So he's gonna eventually move away from you or if he's, or if you're like my husband. Then when he gets warm he wanna push me away and stuff and it's like alright that was totally not necessary. That your husband is the perfect gentleman all the time, such as opening your car door, you know, pulling out your seat before you sit down, holding your hand every time he goes, you guys go out to the mall. Mm. All of us women want the perfect fairy tale. All of us women want to be shown that we're love in public, and all of women like public displays of affection. I don't know one woman who doesn't, and um, I know I love it. I love being, you know, pampered and feel like I'm a queen of his life, which I am. And you know, I, I love that. I love holding when you, I love the holding, hand holding in public and the kissing. Now I'm not gonna be the type of person that's sitting there making out when you're like at McDonald's and you order the Big Mac and you're sitting there at the counter like, mm, 
with your spouse, um, I'm not that person. But I do want you to hold my hand and I do want you to kiss me every now and then. No, we don't have to do all that in public, no. But I do like that. And if you open my door for me, such as the door into a building or my car door, all that's great, but it doesn't happen all the time. And um, it's not going to happen all the time. Sometimes they just don't think about it or um, it's just, you know, you just don't think about it. I mean, when you get married, you know, there's so many years that you're going to be together. Every day isn't going to be perfect. Every day isn't going to be romantic. Every day you're not going to have, excuse me, every day you're not going to have butterflies and you're just going to be like, oh. I mean, every day is not going to be like that. So, you know, to expect that is great, but reality is it just doesn't happen. Men get married and they'd be like, oh yeah, you know, I'm going to have sex every single day and all day and my wife is readily available at all times and this is just how my life is going to be and we're just going to have all this sex all day long and blah 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 blah. If you're a woman watching this video, you know that 9 times out of 10 sex is not going to happen every single day. Um, you know, it just doesn't happen. Sometimes you just don't feel like it and I have to put a disclaimer here because you know we should not just not have sex because we don't feel like it I mean if you're really like not feeling well like you have sickness um, then obviously that's not gonna happen then if he's understanding which he should be understanding and if he's not understanding you have a problem just not doing it when you don't feel like it I feel like we as women need to work on that because I've read a lot of things online and in these forums and stuff where men were like their wives just said that they just don't feel like it. And it's so easy to not feel like it, especially if you have a full-time job, especially if you have kids. One kid is enough. Like one kid will drive you insane. So after a long day of working, you then have to come home and clean and cook and take care of kids. At the end of the day, sex is the last thing you're thinking about. You just want to go to bed. You want to take a bath, you know, go to sleep. And then you have your man come tapping you on the shoulder like, babe. And it's like, woo, no. I'm not opening my legs tonight. I would like I would like to go to bed. I have a headache. I'm tired. I've been at work all day. I've cooked. I've cleaned. I've washed the kids. It's time for bed. Oh yeah, that was my husband texting me. <laughs> he just said he loved me. So it's not gonna happen every single day, you guys. Just you know, just know that. And um, most importantly, in marriage, respect each other. Respect each other's wishes. It is First Corinthians 13. We're going to read this really quick for the ending of this video. It says, Love is patience. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Anyway, basically what that is saying is, like, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast. Love, for one, it has to be patient or it would not work. Like, that's the most important thing in marriage. Just read your Bible, people. Just read your Bible. Ask God for guidance, especially if you're about to get married. Talk to God. Make sure this is who God has for you. So if you guys like this video, I hope you guys thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram at Jerick and Sincere, make sure you comment on my most recent picture so I can know that you have seen this video. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thanks so much for watching.